Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Topaz Labs updated Photo AI to version 1.3.1. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Topaz Labs Photo AI. Actually, just a few days ago, they released version 1.3.0. In that update, they introduced a new strong sharpen model. Now, previous versions of Photo AI included a strong sharpen model with version 1.3.0, they improved it. Then just a couple days later, they released version 1.3.1, and in that update, they included an, an improved standard enhance model. Now, both of these updates, that's 1.3.0 and 1.3.1, include a lot of small enhancements and improvements. In the description below this video, I'll have a list of everything that's new in version 1.3.0 and version 1.3.1. In today's video, I'm just going to run an image through it as a standalone app, a raw file, so you could see how it works. And we're going to take a closer look at that new strong sharpen model. Now the image I'll be using is a full resolution Fuji raw file. Uh, there's, it's not cropped at all. So I will not be testing the enhanced model, of course, the enhanced function of Photo AI only comes into play when you're cropping the image and upscaling it, and I won't be doing that with this image. So let's just browse images, and on my desktop I have that Fuji RAW file, and we'll just open it up into Photo AI. Now by default, Autopilot will be on, and Autopilot means that Photo AI will automatically examine the image, and it will determine if it needs noise removed, if it needs to be sharpened, if there are people in it and it needs to recover faces, then it will just automatically do that. You can see in the lower left-hand corner, there was a progress bar and it says the preview has been updated. The before image is on the left, the after image is on the right, and you could see that it determined that it needed to remove noise and you could see it's pretty obvious it removed noise. You can see there's a considerable amount of noise on my son's face on the left and that is completely cleaned up on the right. It recovered faces. And if I roll that open, you can see that there is a strength slider there. So if it looks like it overdid it or it didn't do enough of, as far as the face is concerned, you know, it makes the face look unnatural. You could try moving the slider to improve it. In this case, I think it's fine. Up here too, with the raw remove noise, if I roll that open, you'll notice there's two sliders there, strength and detail. Since it's on auto, it automatically decided that it needed a strength of 33 and a detail of 20, and that looks fine. If it is on the auto settings, you'll have a little dot here. So that dot means that this, uh, these settings were determined by Photo AI, not me. If I happen to just move this, you can see how that dot isn't filled in anymore. So that is just something to be aware of. So we'll just move it back to 32 so the dot is active. That's an auto setting. Now, I did mention that in version 1.3.0, which is the version prior to this version, they introduced a new strong sharpen model. So let's try that out. It didn't think this image needed to be sharpened, but you could manually do it. Let's just turn it on. And by default, it's just going to go right to the standard model. But this new model, the improved model in 1.3.0 is the strong model. So we'll just click on that. And you can see that that is, uh, just has one slider strength, whereas standard had two sliders strength and clarity. So we'll go there. I only want to sharpen the subject, which is my son. And you can see if I hover over this, that's on. If I hover over this little icon right here, you can see that it puts a red overlay on what's being sharpened. And you can see then it's just him, nothing else. And you could mess around with the strength, so you could turn it way up. You have to wait for it to re-render. And it looks pretty sharp, maybe over sharp on his shirt, obviously. So we'll turn that down. Let it do its thing. It looks pretty good, actually. Um, in the past, when I've worked with the strong sharpen model, uh, sometimes it would just really over sharpen everything with strength, like really low. And it was uh, not as subtle of an adjustment as you may need. And what I found messing around with version 1.3.0 and now 1.3.1 is that it's much more subtle 
and you have a lot more play in the slider, so you could fine tune it a lot, uh, a lot easier now with this newer version. Now, in 1.3.1, they have an improved standard enhance model. Now, enhance resolution only will come into play, and you really don't need to turn that on unless you're cropping the image and you're upscaling it. Now, in this case, I like the image the way it is, so I'm not going to upscale it at all. I'm not going to crop it, but that would come into play there. Let's just move the navigator window around and go over in the lower left, and you can see on the left-hand side that there is a lot a, of noise in this um, like guitar case, I think, was up here on the left that I kind of framed him with. And you can see how it removed that noise beautifully uh, on the right-hand side. You can see the guitar, too that he's playing here. There's a lot of noise on it. It's all cleaned up over here. We'll go over on the right, and there's an amp over here on the right. You can see you have to wait for it to re-render. A lot of noise here. And let it clean it up, and it did clean it up really very, very nicely. So it did a nice job. And every time you move the navigator window around, or if you just click on the image and drag it around, it's going to have to re-render. And you have to wait for that progress bar to finish over here on the left. So let it do its thing. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Now, in view modes, those of you not familiar with uh, Topaz Labs Photo AI, there are three different view modes. There's single view mode, split view mode, and side-by-side -side mode. I'm in side-by-side -side mode. I could be in split view mode, and you get this kind of slider here, and you could come back and forth. Now, again, you have to wait for it to re-render, and it takes a little while. So there's the before, and there's the after. There's the before. And there's the after. You can see it did a great job. You can go in single view mode as well. And if you want to see a before after here, uh, you just click right on the image. There's before. And let go with the left mouse button. There's after. And I accidentally moved it a little so it has to re-render. That is uh, one annoyance of doing it that way. That's why I prefer the side-by-side -side view. So there's before. And there's after. You also could click on this little eye right here. There's before. And there's after. That's probably a better way to do it. There's before. And there's after. I'm ready, so I'm going to save the image. Now, it was an unedited Fuji RAW file. I didn't do any editing to it at all. So I'd like to preserve that RAW format throughout my workflow. So I do have the option to save it as a DNG file, which, of course, is a RAW file. And that's what I'll do. So I'll save it as a DNG. I could save it as a JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. But we'll go with the DNG and we'll save it to the desktop right next to the other file, and we'll click Save. And then when it's saved, we'll take a look at it. I'll open it up into Photoshop, and I'll do some basic editing on it, because, as I mentioned, it wasn't edited at all. And we'll see what, what it looks like um, outside of an application, outside of Photo AI, what it would look like. And I'll open them both, as a matter of fact, up into, uh, that is the original RAW file, and this new RAW file, I'll open them both up, close this down into Photoshop. So we'll take these two and we'll open them up into Photoshop. They'll both open because they're raw, file, they'll both, raw files, they'll both open up into Camera Raw. And those of you not familiar with maybe Photoshop as much as uh, an application like Lightroom, Camera Raw is the develop module of Lightroom. It's just cosmetically a bit different. All right, zoom in. There is the uh, edited image, and there is the non-edited image, or the image that has all the noise. That's the clean image. Let's do this right. Let's zoom in on this. Great. There. If I could get it equal, come here and zoom in there. So there's the unedited RAW file, and there's the edited RAW file right there. Now, to do some editing here, I'd probably bring this down a little bit, just open those up a bit. We'll get a black and white point. I'll hold the Alt key down. Kind of like that. We'll add some texture, some clarity, and a little vibrance, maybe. All right, very quick edit, nothing special. Um, we come down to effects, maybe put a bit of a vignette uh, on them, so basic. All right, so that's the updated. Topaz Labs Photo AI, oh wait, <laughs> Photo AI. I was working with version 1.3.1, 1. 1, but
But as I mentioned, just a few days ago, they released version 1.3.0. There are several small new features in both. And again, in the description below this video, I'll have all the new and improved features listed for both 1.3.0 and 1.3.1. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.